In this video, we're reviewing the top three from the 2023 Arnold Classic with HD footage courtesy of Gilco Productions. It's Samson Dowder, Nick Walker, and Andrew Jacked. We go pose by pose and break down who wins each pose, who I had winning, and did Samson Dowder deserve the victory at the 2023 Arnold Classic. We've got all that plus much more coming up in this video, guys. Hope you enjoy it. What's up, desktopers? Xavier Wills here for Desktop Bodybuilding. And before we get into this one, I want to encourage you guys, if you like this type of content, give the video a thumbs up, smash that like button. If you're not subscribed yet, subscribe, hit the notification bell button. That way you'll be notified of every video that goes up for myself. Xavier Wills at Desktop Bodybuilding. But let's get into this one. So this is all courtesy of Gilco Productions. I've got their link in the description below to their IG page. Go follow them. They do an amazing job on all this 8K video footage. I sometimes used to put 8K in the title when I used to do videos with his videos in it, but obviously this isn't being exported in 8K, but it is very high quality, very high definition. Whatever you want to call it, we get to see a great look at what these three competitors look like in Samson Dowd of a winner in the middle, second place Nick Walker on the left, and then Andrew Jack third place on the right. Many of you guys were split on who would actually win this contest, so let's go pose by pose and decide who comes first, second, and third in each one. And also I want to preface too that Nick Walker does not hit a front lat spread in his individual walkout, so we don't have that one to go off. So initially when Samson comes out and hits that front relax, he looks crazy, but when they hit the front double. Now I thought this would be a hands down victory, this shot here for Andrew Jacked, and he looks fantastic. Obviously it's one of his stronger poses, but I think just because he had to push the conditioning for this show because his last couple of shows, he was just that little bit off, even though he did amazing. Eighth in his first Olympia, won the Arnold Classic UK, but people were expecting that little bit extra that they, I suppose he just didn't deliver. But I think it was for numerous reasons as well. I can't just put this all on George Farah. I think one of the reasons was um, pretty much because he was, I think, unwell leading into the Olympia. The Arnold Classic UK, he didn't know if he'd get his visa or not. It's hard to keep dieting through that. But anyway... I digress. The front double bicep, Samson really did shock me. There is a lot of fullness there, and he did come back better at finals, and I believe this is from pre-judging. So take that into account because Samson was, I believe, the best at finals. But at the end of pre-judging was when he sort of faded a little bit. But the front double bicep, I would probably say I'd have to give that to Samson, which actually shocks me. But I'd say it's 50-50 between Samson and Andrew Jack. But it's also a strong pose for Nick Walker as well. Like, you look at the arms... They're absolutely crazy, but just to compare him with like Samson's structure there, I think Samson wins it. You look at his waist, it looks fantastic. He's going into a vacuum. The lats are just, they've got that thickness from the front now, which he always needed, and the arms are bigger, and his legs were bigger in this contest as well. I'm going to do a video comparing Samson from the 2022 Olympia, which is only, what, 10 to 12 weeks ago, to the 2023 Arnold Classic, and you guys will see his whole physique got bigger. That's for sure. And he was in better condition as well. But Andrew Jack cut from stone there. It would be between Andrew Jack and Samson Dowder. I would probably give that one to Samson with Andrew Jack second and Nick Walker in a close third as well. Now, as we go through it and go into that front lat spread, we obviously get to see two guys in this. Nick Walker does not hit it. So we'll put Nick Walker in third on that one. Sorry, Nick. But the front lat spread, I would give that one to Andrew Jack. But only just, he seemed to have some issues opening up his right lat. I don't know what that was, but... That sort of almost leans me towards Samson on that one. So that's sort of a 50-50 one for me as well. But let's just say Andrew Jacks for argument's sake. But honestly, I have Samson close to winning that shot as well. Now we're moving into the side chest. And this is where Nick Walker makes up some ground for sure because of his thickness. And he, obviously his condition is fantastic as well. Now at the pre-judging here, I would not give this side chest to Samson. Oh, it's, it's tight. But I might give that one to Nick Walker because he's pretty carved out there. Very, very close. I'd probably say Nick Walker or Samson for the win on that side chest with Andrew Jack in third. Andrew Jack is very hard in the upper body. His side leg definitely looks better, but I think he's not as thick as these other two guys. I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments below on that as well. Now, as we head into our side tricep, now a few of these guys hit these with a bit of a variation later as well. I think this pose actually has improved a huge amount for Nick Walker. I've got to give him credit for this one. His side leg is crazy. This dude is detailed insanely well here. So I would give the side tricep to Nick Walker with Samson Dowder in second and Andrew Jacked in third. 
and moving on. And then they also hit that variation as well. You can see Andrew Jack looks fantastic in that where he locks out his quad as the Samson Doubter. But yeah, probably from that front one, I'd probably give that to Andrew Jack because of the conditioning. So you might say Samson and Andrew Jack to close uh, second on that one based on the variation. Now, as I head into the back double bicep, this is where Nick Walker really makes up some ground. And I've got to give that one to Nick Walker. It is just too freaky. It is just too freaky. But I will give credit to Andrew Jack on the right. That is a hugely improved back double bicep. And that's where the conditioning really shows up. His front shots, I don't know how much they improved over the Olympia just based on his conditioning because he lost that bit of fullness. But he looked so much bigger and harder from the back. I've got to say that it was definitely worth his while getting in that better shape. So I would give that one to Nick Walker, Samson Dowder in second, and Andrew Jack in third, but no slight on Andrew Jack because he is much closer than I thought he'd actually be to like a Nick Walker on that pose. Andrew Jack looks very hard going into that rear lat spread. On that rear lat spread, this one is close because Nick Walker from the waist down easily wins that one. Um, but you look at Samson, his hamstrings are pretty damn hard when he hits it. He's got a lot of thickness in that back, a lot more of those traps running down his back. His delts pop a lot more. It looks rounder. It's not as much of a blowout as I thought that shot might actually be. So I think that Nick Walker and Samson Dowder are very close there. I think Andrew just needs more development there, but he is making those improvements. And I think once he does make a bit more improvement to that back, like he did between the Olympia and the Arnold, he is going to be so, so dangerous because if he matches those shots of other people, he dominates some other shots like this one. I have Andrew Jack winning the ab and thigh. He's just too detailed. He is just like the way the skin lays over the muscle, way those abs look. Samson has a great um, ab and thigh as well, but you compare it to Andrew's and Andrew's just cut from stone. So Andrew Jack wins that pose. Doesn't dominate as much as I thought he might, but if he can bring a bit more fullness next time with this same level of conditioning, he is going to be a tough dude to beat. And Nick Walker, I've got to give him credit. His waist is tight here. I would like to see a little bit more on the quads. It is an ab and thigh, but the way he hits it is very smart. I thought it looked good. Um, you can't take anything away from that dude. But I would give him third on that ab and thigh. And then we go into the most muscular. And obviously, a lot of different variations there. Let me know who you guys have winning that one. That one's tough. First, second, and third on the most muscular. Like, there's a lot of variations. I'd probably... Oh, it is tough. It is tough. I'm going to go through the most muscular again. Let us let me know who you guys have in the most muscular. I would give the most muscular to Nick Walker. I would say Samson in second and then Andrew in third. Um, just because I don't want, like the way Andrew actually hits that crab most muscular near the end. I think it looks a little awkward. He's got his sort of wrists forward. If he can refine that one and change it or maybe just not hit the crab, then I think that would um, help him a lot more because it does make him look a little stringy through the arms, which, you know, he has a ton of muscle, so... Um, it's hard to actually make himself look stringy, but I think that's not the best way for him to hit that shot. But anyway, guys, let me know your thoughts on that in the comments below. I did have Samson Dowder winning this contest. The way he looked at finals, which is not representative in this video, because I believe it was from pre-judging, um, the way he looked in finals was crazy, but he did get straight first at pre-judging as well. Uh, Nick Walker didn't quite get straight seconds. Andrew Jack did steal, I think, one point off him, or maybe two points off him from pre-judging, but... It was a pretty convincing scorecard in terms of first, second, and third, but that doesn't mean it wasn't close. Like they, Even if every judge had Samson winning, they might have said, oh, it's so close, but I have Samson. And that's sort of how I felt in this contest. It was so close, but I had Samson. But I will say that I had him winning 75% of this contest, but 25%, which is the second half of pre-judging, I didn't have him winning. So Samson Dowder, I think, made enough of an impression at the start of pre-judging in that first comparison and then obviously look good enough just to hold off these other guys at the end of that pre-judging, then to go into finals and get straight first and look absolutely fantastic. And I think he's look, looked like the undeniable winner. And even Chris Aceto, who prepped Andrew Jack, said Samson Dowder was the deserving winner. But let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Did you have Samson Dowder winning this contest? Do you believe Nick Walker's ripped off? Do you believe Andrew Jack should have placed higher? And what did you think of Big Rami as well, even though he's not in this video? And guys, thank you so much for all the support over the weekend. Joining in on my live watch parties, we had over 2,000 people in there at one stage, and we had tens of thousands over the weekend. I think even hundreds of thousands. So thank you guys so much for that. It's much appreciated. If you do want to support the channel, give the video a thumbs up, smash that like button, also subscribe and hit the notification bell button. That way you'll be notified of every video that goes up for myself, Xavier Wills at Desktop Bodybuilding. And special shout out to Muscle Tech and Soul Premise for supporting my 2023 Arnold Classic coverage. Anyway, guys, that's it for me. For Xavier Wills, this is Desktop Bodybuilding, and we are...
out.